Hello, my name is Peter Dunsmore and in this video series I'm going to show you the techniques I used to make this box. As I said earlier, in this series I'm showing you the techniques I use to make this box rather than the step-by-step -step to make the box. Um, as a rough guide, this is a piece of maple. The front is going to be 320 millimetres long and the sides are 240 millimetres. Now as you can see we need to cut bevels here. That will make the front of the box. This will make the two sides so that when they're joined the grain will flow through and then this piece of maple which isn't really seen will make up the back of the box what i'm going to do is take you to the table saw now and show you how to cut the bevels i'm going to mark out where we want the bevels to be cut first the center piece is going to be 320 millimeters long so if i just make a wee mark here and then square these off. Like so. I'm now going to cut this on the table saw straight through. So we have three pieces. I'll just mark out the back. Here's your front, two sides and the back. Now what we've got to do is cut the bevels and make sure that they face the right way. So it'll be an idea to do a wee pencil mark across the top so that you know the grain will follow through. Now if we set the saw to a 45 degree bevel just double check it's not that one that one there so we're going to cut the bevel here now the aim is to cut the bevel as close to the edge as you can
now measure you 320 millimeters and just check it's okay yeah cut inside that line and repeat the process and then repeat for the sides. Now, there's a the front. a side and there's a side and if you can see flows through nicely what you need now is the two sides 240 millimeters long just mark this and then repeat the process for the back. Front, two sides and a back. As you can tell, I've cut these roughly by eye and it's not even an accurate 45 degrees unless your saw is particularly well set up. These are cut by eye just to give the, a rough size. To get a good bevel I use a disc sander and I'll cut these to the exact length using a disc sander and I'll show you this in the next step. I'm Peter Dunsmore. Thank you for watching this episode. See you next time.